Kajabi is a fantastic tool because it keeps everything under one roof. You don't have to mess with a lot of different third-party apps. However, sometimes that's necessary. And Zapier is a software that allows you to make connections from all different types of softwares and talk to each other through an API. And it's known as a Zap. So we're gonna be taking a look right here on how to integrate Zapier into your Kajabi account so you can have your apps talk to one another. Just a reminder to check out ReviewOnlineCourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, Thinkific, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. So inside Kajabi, you can actually have certain if then then that automations. So if you wanted to grant an offer, then you could then allow it to create a, a form submission. But how do you do that when you're not in Kajabi? Well, this is Zapier. And you can see it's actually it's free. You can you can upgrade your plan, but if you don't want to, you get free, um, you get five free zaps. So if you want more than that, you're gonna have to actually pay a little bit of money. But let's just take a look at how to make a zap inside Zapier so that we can have these different softwares talk to each other, like Gmail talking to Google Sheets or or Google Sheets talking to MailChimp, you know? So if you scroll down and you can see that you if you do this, then that happens. It's this, this, then that kind of thing. So if I was to click on Kajabi and um, that was the app I chose, then now I can choose a trigger event. So I can have new purchase or new form submission or um, an assessment completed, but make sure that these are actually relevant, that you actually have, have these completed because it won't work if you do. So I actually know for a fact that I have a new form submission that I've created inside Kajabi, so I can click on that and then I can hit the continue button. And then from there, <clears throat> I can actually decide what Kajabi account I want to pick. So sometimes you'll have multiple Kajabi accounts. Sometimes you have multiple sites. So in this particular case, um, I'm going to add a new account and that's going to load. So if I come back here and I actually put in an email, this is what I have. I've chosen an app. I've chosen an account, right? Then I've picked the actual specific site because I have a multitude of different sites in my Kajabi account. And once I've picked the site that I want, then I can pick that promotional offer form that I was looking for that. So that, that form that I was looking for the form submission in the beginning. And then I can test that trigger and you can see we found a form submission. So that's, that's good news. So we hit continue and that's cool because now Kajabi is going to um, have that conversation with a new form submission. So that's a really cool way to get in a, a reaction and if, and then, a then. So let's just imagine though, that we are using like a MailChimp, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, um, you know, it'd be easier if we just pretend that, you know, we're actually, you know, cause we just did the reverse. We just did Kajabi to Kajabi. So imagine we were going to do like MailChimp to Kajabi. That's what we wanted to accomplish. So, so just imagine at the, at the top where it says new form submission Kajabi, just imagine it said MailChimp and then we're going to send it to Kajabi. So click on Kajabi. Um, we choose the app, which is Kajabi. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose create form submission again. And once we click that, we're going to hit continue. We're going to pick an email and then we're going to choose the site again. And then on the value, we're going to choose a form. So imagine we wanted to ca email capture opt-in from MailChimp, and then we wanted to send it to a form inside Kajabi. So it would register in the Kajabi CRM. So that's really important because we don't want it to actually necessarily go into the MailChimp CRM. We want that to be kind of under one roof inside Kajabi. So we want it to go inside Kajabi. So we can uh, click a name. And then after we click a name, we can click an email. So we have a name, we have a name and we have an email. So just obviously you can see a name right there and then we can see an email. And that's what we're gonna receive inside our Kajabi dashboard. Even though it came in through MailChimp, the apps are gonna to talk to each other and exchange that data. So we can hit the test and continue button. And then once we find out that the test was successful, we can turn on the zap. And that is actually exactly how you have 
the data talk to one another using an API through Zapier. It's, it's called a Zap for a reason, right? So it's a cool way to actually now to bring all these different softwares and integrate them into one. Kajabi does that for the most part, but there are some things that Kajabi doesn't do yet. And that's where Zapier can be a huge, um, a huge software to allow you to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And as always, leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer anything you have, any questions on Zapier or Kajabi. And just keep in mind, clicking the link down below, you get a free pair of AirPods if you trial Kajabi. I'm Fish Fisher, and I'll see you guys in the next video.